Hashmi. Today I am going to tell you about the union and union all operators. Union and union all operators are used to combine the result set of two or more select statements. That is here what I am having is like two I am having two tables like India customers and US customers. If I want to combine both the both these result set of these tables, I am going to use a union. What does the union do is it combines both the result set. Like I am going to select all the ID names, select all the columns. Like I am having the same, uh, three three columns like ID name and email in India customers and the ID name and email in the US customers. See if I select and I am giving a union. What it does is union. It it gives eight eight call eight rows only eight rows. What does the union does is union. It removes all the duplicates and then it gives a result set. See I am removing this union and I am going to select the tables like see what the table I am having over here is like I am having two two names like Hari Hari and then like um, Anand see I am having a two customers the same names in both the US customers and India customers tables if I am going see what I am having all the 10 own five rows in a five rows in one table and a five rows in another table here what I have done is I am doing a union in union it what it does is it gives only the eight or eight rows that is it has given it has given only the com uh, it has removed the duplicates and given only this uh, names like Hari, Hari and Anand as one time only. See why? Because it uh, uh, Hari and Anand are there in both US customers and India customers table. That's why it has given the uh, it has removed all the duplicates. The other thing is union all what it does is it, it gives all the 10 rows. See I have got Hari as a two times and Anand as two times. Here what it does it it doesn't remove any duplicates. This is the difference between a union and union all. For union and union all the number of columns and the order of the column should be same and the data type and everything should be same. If I ch change this like uh, if I change See if I, here I'll give the ID comma name comma email and if I give it is as name ID comma email then it throws an error. See conversion failed. Why? Because here it's an ID and here it's a name. It can't combine like this or uh, uh, like this. The data type of ID is int and the data type of is a varchar. That's why it's it can't convert the data type. That's why it's, it is throwing the error over here. For that, the for union and union all, it should be both the both both the order and that. And the data type should be same. This is what then the and the other thing is in union and union all is that union removes duplicate rows, whereas a union all does not. And the union has to perform distinct sort to remove duplicates, which makes less faster than union. Why? Because see, uh, in you in union it should it should. Uh, what it does it uh, removes the duplicates for that it should take and uh, sorting should be done for that it will take some time and in the execution it will take some uh, somewhat slower than the union all for, and again the order by clause should be given only at the last statement see what it does it, it selected all the uh, the order by and this order Or, or in order by uh, what I'm going to give is like order by name okay 
this is what I am going to give customer ID and it's selecting order and I'm, it's going to do it by order by name. This this order by should be only given to the second stair select statement only it should not be k by because it's all the output i am going to get is combining after combining both the select statement only i am going to get this output so order by should be only given at that second select statement only that's it what we have seen for today is union and union all and difference between union and union all that's it for today thank you thank Thank you for listening.